Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing Will Your X Return Spread for all of my Capricorns out there. So, let's get after it. Okay. Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What types of energies are currently around my Capricorns out there? What kind of energies are currently around my Capricorns? Ooh. All righty, so here we go. Okay, so at the moment, we have a 10 of swords energy. So this individual right now is feeling a little bit betrayed, feeling a little bit like they've been stabbed in the back. And there's a great deal of hurt and a great deal of anxiety coming from the situation. Now, with that being said, however, uh, this person still is holding out hope. A lot of, a lot of passion. They're very because they're very passionate about the connection that they believe that you guys have together, right? So they're they're feeling hurt because it doesn't appear as if their um, their advances are 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 being. Um, they're not getting as much traction with their advances as they thought they they would, and they and they and, and this is the person that you may have kind of tepidly gone out on a couple of dates with this individual. Nothing, nothing too serious, at least from your perspective. But to them, they really took it to heart, and they're not getting the, the kind of traction they thought. So at the moment, they're feeling a little bit betrayed, feel a little bit like stabbed in the back, but they have like a ruination of plans, that sort of thing. But like I said. We got the strength card here represented. They still have a great deal of passion, a great deal of hope, okay, about the situation now. We got the Hereford here. This represents long-term committed relationship, possible marriage. So this person has marriage on the mind here. This is a person that wants, they, 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 this person that wants to get serious, like really serious. And and that's, that's probably why they're so hard, like, you know, uh, they thought there was a deeper connection than maybe what you thought. Okay, this is a, this is definitely an earth sign individual. Okay, we're talking about here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy here, like yourself. Okay, um, this per, uh, so the person is very, very down to earth, very grounded, and makes very wise decisions when it comes to that financial issue. So that's how you recognize this individual. This individual makes very smart choices when it comes to their pinnacles, okay? So this person is very, uh, they, may, they may not, they may be a little out of step as far as the relationship aspect goes, but when it comes to their finances, they are dead on about that, all right? So that's how you recognize this individual. That's the point of me stressing that. So, but with that being said, here we have a two of cups here. So they believe that there is a soulmate connection between you two. That's what this is really all about. Um, you know, when you know they really felt that real deep spiritual soulful connection with you okay we also we have here the six of swords which means that you know uh be you know pursuing a relationship with you is, is taking taking their life from a very choppy uh tumultuous situation moving into a more tranquil if you will more tranquil more relaxed more fluid situation if you will okay at the moment, they're just kind of waiting to see what kind of fruit ripens on that vine, okay? Because as I said before, they they, they, they put it out there, uh, and they didn't get as much traction as they thought they were going to get, but they're not giving up hope because there's a great deal of passion and, 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 and strength that they have. Uh, that they're that the connection will be realized by you that you you're you're going to realize what they already know that you guys have a very strong connection. Um, so that's what's going on right now with your uh, current situation. So let's see what's going on with your ex's uh, current situation here. What kind of energies are your ex currently dealing with? What kind of energies is your ex currently dealing with? What kind of energies is your ex currently dealing with? What kind of energies is your ex currently dealing with? So, 
right from the beginning and dealing with a situation is a lot of conflict and a lot of tension. A lot of conflict and a lot of tension um, <clears throat> with, the, with this particular individual here. It, it, it could be, I'm, I'm getting this into, it's, it's more like a, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of arguments, a lot of disputes that they're having with this individual. Um, you know, I, I got the feeling that your, your, your ex is not completely all in, all right? Um, there's also an aspect here of this person is being very cautious, nine of wands, and he's being very cautious because they know that your ex is not all in. So they're, they're, they're being very protective of their heart, of their emotions, their feelings. They're, they're, they're being very cautious, if you will, protecting themselves. Um, this is an air sign individual here we're talking about here, King of Swords energy here, a Gemini Libra or an Aquarius energy here. Um, and it's a person that's usually able to make pretty... You know, pretty swift decisions on the fly. They can make very wise choices about the hard decisions. However, not so much with this situation because we have the seven of cups here. Now, this represents a person that has feels as though they have at least feels as though they have a lot of choices, a lot of options here. Some of those options being tangibly real, some of them being not. Uh, as I said before, um, but I'm not really feeling like this is a situation in which they're really going to get the, the, the upper hand on here because I don't feel like there's a reciprocal uh, feelings here with the situation. Now, as far as they go, at the death card, they're willing to start something fresh, something new, um, you know, brand new, fresh start. But there is a decision that needs to be made here. If they're going to continue, this person that's pursuing your ex is still going to continue to put themselves in a situation where they're, they, they're putting... A hundred percent in, and they're only getting back maybe like twenty, twenty-five percent. You know, it's 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 kind of like you know the death of a thousand cuts here. There's only so far that this person seems like they're willing to deal with this. They got a little bit left in them because they still have a great deal of passion with this situations. Very similar. You guys are in very similar situations, if you will. Very similar situations. So with that being said, maybe there's a, a slither slither of a chance that you guys may reconnect at some point. Let's see. What are the chance of you and your what are the chance of you and your ex reconnecting? What are the chance of you and your ex reconnecting? What are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? Let's see here. Well, a little drink here. Here's the thing. Good news, bad news. I'll give you the bad news first. Bad news is, well, it may not necessarily be bad news, but you got the five of cups here. So there's a certain amount of regret that's being had here. Could be from you. Could be from them. Could be collectively. Overall, just a lot of a lot of sadness, if you will. A lot of reflective looking back in the past, feeling a sense of regret. Alright? Now with that being said, I don't know if this is your energy. It could be your energy, it could be their energy, it could be collectively energies together, okay? But somebody, somebody somewhere. We got the sixth of wands here. So someone wants to recognize victory here. Which means that someone wants to have outward shows of affection, okay? Um, that means holding hands in public. That means really uh, um, sharing a meal together, you know, becoming reacquainted with each other's family members and friends. So somebody here is looking for some type of reconnection, if you will, okay? Could be you, could be them, could be collectively both. And we finally had the four of wands here, which represents something stable, long, a long-term, a solid, a stable situation, long-term committed, stable situation. So is there a possibility of you and your ex kind of reconnecting at this point? I would have to say, yes, there is. Yes, there is. All right. There, there is a, there is a very strong possibility here. Um, so with that being said, let's see what additional information the spirit want to give before I shut this thing down. Let me see what additional information I can give you before I shut this thing down here. One more shot.
Hmm. Okay. So, expectations. And it's okay to have a certain <clears throat> level of expectation that something is going to work out here. And you should expect it to. Um, this, the, the, it, prepare for the worst. Okay? It's, 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 it, prepare for the worst, but, but it's okay to expect good things to happen. It, it, you know, so, so I, I do believe that there is going to be, uh, you know, an expectation. And the expectations that you have for this reunion are not going to be in vain. I do, I do feel that this is resonating with you. I do feel as though this expectation will not be in vain, okay? But with that being said, though, efficiency, you still, <clears throat> you don't want to go all in just yet. Efficiency, just hold, 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 hold the cards a little bit close to the vest there. Hold them a little bit close to the vest, all right? Don't go all in. It's going. Trust me, it's going to work out. It's going to work out. There's still this connection still there, but it's going to work out here. Okay, but be very efficient with your time and your energy. Just, you know, just small burst, small burst, small little interactions, baby steps. You come in, you have some communication, rather, social, rather it be social media, a friend of a friend, that type of thing, and then you leave. Don't, you know, don't overstay the welcome, just stay for a little bit, back out. But I do believe that there's some type of connection that's really going to be able to be formed here. Now, with that being said, we got the surface card here, okay? So, this surface card is pertaining to the... <clears throat> the situation, not pertaining to your ex, but pertaining to the situation, the current, um, and it, do I, duly, both of your situations pertaining to other people that are trying to pursue a relationship with you guys collective, collectively here. Here's the thing. Like I said, very similar. I was feeling very similar vibes, if you will. Uh, surface. So, uh, surface, uh, how I define surface is, um, they're the way that people are, and then they're the way that people pretend to be, okay? Now, usually, um, if a person pretends to be someone that they're not, there's two reasons why they do this. Two reasons. One is nefarious, one is not. I'll take the nefarious first. A nefarious, which is a person is deliberately being deceptive in who they really are. And their intentions is just maybe to get close to you, to get something from you. Be it be in a relationship department or rather be something sexual, uh, and they have no intentions of being really forthwith and honest about who they are, what they are, what they're about, and what they're looking to seek to get to get from you. Okay, so that's nefariousness. All right. Then you have the other one that is not so nefarious, and it's more or less a person does these type of things, pretends to be someone else because they have a very low self esteem, if they will. And so I I believe that. And pertaining to these other relationships that you guys, people that are both pursuing these relationships with you guys, you kind of feel like you don't know if it's one or the other. You're just not feeling the real connectivity there. Like there's something not quite right. There's something kind of missing, if you will. And both of you collective, collectively are feeling that. There also may be an aspect there, like I said before. You know, they're still unfinished business with you guys, all right? So that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, <clears throat> this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone. So if it does not resonate with you, I'm telling you up front, don't be hitting me up. Oh, my God, Adonis, that ain't me. He could burn in hell. She could burn in hell. I don't care. That means it don't resonate with you, all right? So let's not go there, all right? So if it doesn't resonate with you, that is okay. It's totally okay. Uh, and you want to know something a little bit more specific to your situations, again, the link will be below. Feel free to get a personal reading. Now, if it does resonate with you, all right? Speaking to you guys, if it does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, the link will be below. Feel free to get a personal reading, all right? And as always, like, Share and absolutely subscribe, right? My name is Adonis. I love you guys. And I will absolutely positively see you next time. Bye-bye.